Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher 2. When we left off last time, I killed Succubus and I am pretty sure it was the wrong thing to do. Now, one of you in the comments the other day mentioned something about I can buy surgical tools from this gal here. That's what I need, isn't it? To get the piece of whatever it is out of the body and that will hopefully let us know who actually is at fault in this whole Elias Succubus mess and we can make sure that the proper actual criminal is the one Okay. What do you got? Brooke said you were just a death. Did I get that? Have I read that? I might not have. Okay, surgical tools. Anyhow, that's what I need. Down in the asses, right? And I went all the way to T. And there's a lot more T's. There we go. 131. But we need them. Excellent. So then, we need to go now. I'll say it again. Humans are strange. Back out to. This is not the way I wanted to go. We want to go out this exit. It's not. Is it this side? Yes. It loops around here. That's right. And then we need to go back to the crypt. If I can remember where that is. Run out of the rain, guys. Rain cleanses. All right, I'm going. This is the right way. Wet squirrels, really funny. <laughs> Come on, they're your allies now, guys. And considering the force we face, it's we should be grateful for pretty much any ally we can come across. Like the trolls, I'm feeling pretty positive that the trolls are gonna fight for us, and I'm excited about that. Had I killed the female troll, wow, then we would have lost some potential allies. And I'm really hoping that things work out with Adam Pangrant, that we manage to get him on our side too in the battle. That would be great. He's a mercenary. Perhaps he could be convinced to abandon Hansel. You know, who's to say I even am going to need the silver one? There's all kinds of stuff out here. Oh, that was not it. What is that? Something just ran past. Oh! It's you. You guys done, or are there more of you? There's more of them. Yeah. Wonder how many more will turn up. Whatever. We'll just go around this way. This one way too early there. All right. I'm not gonna fight all of you guys. I have places to be. Oh, good grief. Just stop it. No one cares about you. Aha! Wait. No, that one's blocked up. Um, yes. Alright, and body was, like, way over this way, right? I might be going too far. Really? Didn't I get rid of all you guys before? I just want to extract something from a corpse's arm. Is all of this- there he is. Get to the task at hand. Oops. This corpse is fresh. Someone brought it here recently. Yep, let's check out its arm. Okay, let's look at the arms. I mean, he does have pieces of her hair. That seems pretty incriminating, but... 
the forearms are cut up pretty badly as if he had to defend himself. There's something embedded in the bone. Let's Metal pluck splinter. it up. Interesting. That is interesting. Because the succubus, she's not using weapons, right? Alright, he's holding on to the hair. He was young, just like the others. All the clues seem to indicate a succubus. On the other hand, there's a metal fragment in the wound. Okay, so how do we find out more about that fragment? I mean, like, who would you take such a thing to? I gotta see if this gives me anything. Nothing yet. Alright. Well, who would know? I mean, I guess we could show it to the succubus and Elias and see what they each say about it. I don't know if, is there more I'm missing with this corpse? I don't think so. I think we looked at it all, right? This corpse is fresh. Clothing ripped in many places. Hmm. Any smells of sulfur? Interesting. The head's in far better condition. Dark rings around. Just a few. Dark bites. Arms all tore up. And torso. These wounds, they're ripped open. Whatever attack. Plus, we turned him over before. We found the book. Fingernail marks all over his back. All right. So yeah, really, the, the chunk of metal was the only new thing. Alright, we'll ask him all about it. Wait, what was that that I just went past? Oh, I don't care about that. Well... Thus far, this little metal fragment has not been as exciting as I hoped it would be. I hoped Geralt would have some kind of, I should take this to so-and-so and ask more, but we'll make through it without hand-holding. It'll be okay. Dwarves no metal, right? Maybe we could talk to one of our dwarven friends? I don't know. I'm guessing that maybe the first thing to do is to talk to the main people that are involved in the quest, right? So, talk to Elias, talk to... Our succubus. See what they have to say about it. And if they've got nothing to say, or if it's still not clear after talking to them, then maybe we'll see if we can get an outside opinion. Which way is the way to go here? Oops. Clicking all the wrong place. What is- I don't care about that one. This one. This way, the more south pass. Okay, so who do we want to talk to first? I might talk to the succubus first. Because we're going to be close to the exit that, from town that gets us to her. And then after that we'll go talk to Alias. I don't know. Maybe they both did it. Maybe they work together. the best way through here. Storm is coming. Let's 
I hope this is a battle that really gets you guys what you're looking for. Hello, Witcher. Hello. Free Vergen. All the peoples united. A lovely thing. We'll see if it happens. We're not gonna accuse her, we're not gonna get in a big fight with her. At least that's the plan. I just wanna see if she has anything to say that makes this make sense. Alright, let's talk. You're back. That's it. I'll talk to him, then I'll come back. I hope we can seal our friendship then. No, there's like a big important battle coming. I can't really give you any of my vitality at this point. I don't know, maybe that's kind of an argument to tell her to scoot on out of here. Um, well, I mean, mm, everyone has the right to decide for themselves if they want to dally with a succubus or not. But we do have a really important battle coming up, and you know, maybe we should try to be at our best for that. So, really, none of our troops should be messing with her. All right, Elias. You gotta give me something. Otherwise, I'm gonna see about talking it through with Yorva. Calm, I'll say it again. Tomorrow. Humans are strange. All right, you. Witcher. Witcher. That's all you got. But I found this thing. Come on, it's gotta be important. And it looks like a fragment of a of a blade. Well, who do I talk to about that? Goodness. Any of my pals in here? Can they help me out with this? Look, another one. You let one human in and in no time you've got a swarm. I think I still need to arm wrestle you, actually. The mine's safe again. Any plans to do something with it? Of course! As soon as the battle's done, we'll resume digging. Shame to let those rich deposits go to waste. My uncle says they'll put Vergen right back in his feet. Zoltan's talking about a shared enterprise or some such. He's to manage operations with my uncle as general overseer. Yeah, good for him. We just got to save the town first. All right, well, we'll do it. Hey, Scalen, wanna arm wrestle? I really like to wrestle, but... Uh... What? What, I gotta beat other people first? Show me what you're made of. Alright. Wanna take me on? Let's do it. Yes. Show me what you're made of. I have human women need only sit astray to man's pants for their bellies to puff up. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh shoot. See, this is the problem. Once it starts to go bad, I have the worst time getting it back. We don't have this one. Ugh. Got me a good strong arm, eh? Let's go again. Hey, Skaven. I really like. Show me. Oh. Show me. Apologies if I've already beaten him and I've just lost track of who all I've done this with now. Oh, really? You were freaking there, too. Come on, come on. He's one who can change the fate of kingdoms. Very true. Sets my teeth on edge. Okay, does this even matter? I gotta check the quest. 
Yes, I'm getting tested because I lost twice in a row. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's look here. Okay, we bested Zoltan. Bested Sheldon. No, I gotta... I gotta... I gotta take on Scalen still. Yep, everyone wants me to beat him. Alright. Look, another one. You let one human in and in Come here, we gotta do this. Hey Scalen, wanna arm wrestle? I really like Although I don't know how much a win means if I've already lost twice, but Show me what you oh. Show me what you're made of. Like ants they are. I heard human women need only sit a stray demand of ants with their bellies to cover. Come on. Yeah, I have no confidence in it happening after I lose it at one point. Once it started to slip to red, it's just done. Got me a good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, skip. Show me. Huh? Show me. I know we have more important things to do. We've got to solve this whole Elias succubus situation, but. I must be arm wrestling champ. Okay, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Freaking thing. Just beat him. Good grief. Alright. I think I've had them. I believe I'd split a rock with my dick sooner than I'd beat you at arm wrestling. He says after beating I guess him multiple that makes times. Me the new champion of Vergen. No shame in losing to the White Wolf. No, there's one who could still be a match for Oh, you. goodness, who, who now? The mighty Numa. I wrestled him in Kovir. Couldn't move my arm for the next week. Oh, is that where we're going to head to next? Don't play fair. But that's just losers talking. You ever wrestle him? Give him my regards. Will do. I will. All right. Now then. Team, I need help. Oh, Dandelion, you're not just hanging out with the succubuses. Hmm. We already asked you all that. Oh, yeah. I taught Scalen a lesson. Gibeon? Heard his joints crack. Probably already has a compress of firm young tits on his arm. In any case, I'm grateful and want you to have this rune Thank stone. you. And you know you say that, but I have yet to see a dwarven woman running around here or a dwarven child. I don't remember what their birth rate is compared to like the elves, if it's as rough as it is for them. Do they just keep their children hidden and inside? What does a child dwarf look like? Does it essentially... Would I know one if I saw it or would I just think that it was an adult dwarf? Consider Scalen humble. Always told the old fart he was shite. You're a good sort, girl. Here's a rune stone from the company to improve your weapons with. Thank you. Alright. So, none of you guys were actually helpful, though, with this whole what's going on with Elias, and that I'm gonna just talk to Yorvith about it. I'm a little worried that that's just gonna turn into outright accusation of Elias. But now that we know that Dandelion's inside the inn, I could just put off finding, you know, making a decision. Don't try it. If it comes down to it. No, I need to go through and then up the stairs, so that's right. Uh, uh. Maybe I could talk to Philippa. She's a sorceress, they know things. And I need to talk to her anyhow about the handkerchief we got. Alright, was he in this one? Nope. This isn't actually a place to go in. 
I don't like you. Good for you, buddy. Yorvis, where you at? Ah! Right there. Greetings, Gwynblade. So, just straight out, he's a murderer. Your Scoyatel, Elias, is murdering people from Vergen. Any proof? Elias is one of my best warriors. Well, I do have a scrap of metal. It doesn't seem like very good proof. I found a splinter from a blade in one of the bodies. Compare it to Elias's weapons. I'll see to it. No, I need to know more than that. You must be coming back. Elias must have learned that I know the truth about his madness. What happened? He's fled the city. Oh, so it was him. Okay, I feel so much better, though. Alright. And again, sorry, well, I mean, it's rough news for us to have to deal with here. Yorveth, he was one of your best warriors, and we do need good warriors for this fight, but he's killed how many people so far? So, we were losing warriors by keeping him around. I don't really like that he's escaped justice by fleeing the town. But there are, you know, cursed wraiths everywhere. This is not the exit I meant to take. So, possibly he'll run right into them. Seems he'd have a tough time making it on his own. Things being the way they are right now. He's also got Henselt's army. I don't think they're gonna be... Well, it's, I mean, are there any are there any elves in Henselt's? I, I wouldn't think so. I, no, he wouldn't have Skoyatel fighting with him, so... If he were to try to... If he accidentally runs into them, they're probably just going to kill him on sight, right? So, we can hope that some other force will take care of him. Not as good as ensuring that justice is meted out, but it'll do. Okay, so that metal itself was proof enough. Alright, well I really wanted to know a little more about just what it was, but it didn't seem a very succubus type of weapon, so... Alright, let's go talk to her. She's going to offer her to seal the deal or whatever with us, but for the same reason I, gave, I was saying earlier, we, we need all of our vitality and whatever. we got a big battle coming, so we're going to give it a pass. But it is still suspicious that he has- I'll not be put down like some dog! Fight! Where are you at? Okay. Alright, I actually think I just want to argue. you. It's just one guy on his own, so... Oops. And I just stood and took that. That was pretty bad. There we go. Do you have anything else incriminating on you? No, nothing at all. He didn't kill her, did he? As he was like waiting out here. Well, but I mean, she could fight back, couldn't she? Maybe not. Nope, she's all right. I'm pleased you put an end to that fool's torment. You'll be blissfully rewarded. No, no thanks. This road and relax. I'll pass. Not interested. As tempting as others might find me, <laughs> I think I'll pass. On the sex, of course. <laughs> Got anything else for me? Oh, what a shame. But it will be as you wish. In the box by the bed, I left you a small gift. Something to remember me by. Goodbye. Which is Where are you going? Okay, box by the bed. Oh, the gigantic box, not the little one. Hmm. Yeah, she just over encumbered me. Let's take a look at it, though. Two slots. Armor plus 15. 
I mean, it's got some better resistances on it. Is that more important than just armor, though? I mean, we could make it better. And this has the Dwarven Enhancement. And what did that do? I'm going to try, try to sort this out. Enhancements. What's the Dwarven Enhancement? Were those... There we go. Plus two each. So that then had a base of 16. Right? So at its base, it was still a little better than this. Although this does have... But we could put... Well, we don't... We only have one more Dwarven Enhancement. Fran. Although I could probably like get a schematic and make more, right? I don't know. Also, six pounds over. Let's lose six pounds. Do I really need these? Probably not. Six pounds of drowner brains? Probably not. All that stuff doesn't weigh anything. Okay, none of this stuff weighs much. Alright. Just pick something. We don't need the claws, right? Just the feathers. Let's drop some of these. Ten of them we'll drop. Still not quite enough, but better. And then we'll drop some of the... Andrika teeth. Jaws. Okay, that'll do. I also want to see what our quest log has to say now. Alright, so, with Flickering Heart. So, most of this we read. Concluded that the succubus had killed the men. Then we found the book, we lured her out. All right. So according to the succubus, the murderer was the elf Alias, a jealous lover, for you must know that the succubus had many lovers, all the murder victims among them. Geralt listened to her testimony and went to speak to the elf. We, oh, we got to this. The word of a monster against the word of a bandit. Geralt decided to accuse Elias. He presented what little evidence we had gathered to Yorvith. Squirt's a leader wanted to talk to his subordinate, but Elias was far away by then. He had fled. Which is very suspicious in and of itself. Because if Yorvith was just going to talk to him, I had very scant evidence. So why did he run? Still uncertain of the elf's guilt, the Witcher went to tell the succubus everything. Geralt decided that Elias, guilty or not, would sooner or later kill the succubus. Well, that does kind of make sense. The Witcher's discussion with the elf quickly escalated into a fight. Yeah, there wasn't really a discussion, he just started shouting at me. And Geralt slew the Squirtel. We will never know if Elias was truly the murderer, yet we think this very likely. Either way, the Witcher decided he deserved some reward and went to see the succubus about it. Well, I mean, we did we do deserve a reward. I will not describe how the succubus rewarded Geralt. I will leave that to your imagination, dear reader. I will note only that the Witcher seemed more satisfied satisfied than he usually was upon receiving a bulging pouch of orins. No, nothing happened, Dandelion. All in all, the adventure with this she beast ended well for us. Were there no more murders in Vergen? That I do not know. And we will see what happens about all that. Okay. Well, I feel slightly better about this ending. I mean, it does seem pretty likely that there was at least something going on with Elias, so... Alright. Well then, Geralt, what shall we do next? We do need to find Triss. We need this blood. I mean, we need to give Philippa the thing anyhow, so I kind of feel like maybe we might as well do that. Oh, yeah. Wait uh, wait for event. I do want to know what's going to happen here, but we just got to wait. Silgret. 
we'll see how that goes on. Works out. He was so obnoxious, but... Okay, what else? Hatred symbolized. We just have to wait again. Okay. Oh yeah, we need the Sword of Vandergrift. But... The blade is Saskia's right now. That's right. So Saskia has that. And we have got the banner. A sack full of fluff. Oh, the harpy feathers. Alright, yeah, I think the thing now is to go talk to Philippa. Let's do that. Sell things emo. I don't <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. Regards. I'll say it again. Humans are strange. All right, let's sell you some stuff real quick. I think I'm gonna sell you this armor. I could use it, but we'll just sell it. There we go. I should probably sell this sword of the Dun Banner. It is nine pounds. Well, I can definitely sell this sword of care more, and I don't care about that thing anymore. Okay. See, when they're to marry, they become terribly picky. It's got some sentimental value. It's from Kermorhen, but we gotta be a little ruthless about how much space we're using. What's going on here? What are you guys guarding? Only Philippa Eilhart may enter. Well, I need to talk to her. Since when did the Skoya tell guard Philippa Eilhart? What's that about? What? Did, I need to talk to her. What is this? That's her house, right? No, it's not. What is it? Why? Don't let her die, Vatka. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's where Saskia is. I will not let her die. <laughs> and I'll, I totally forgot that that's where they took her. I'm so stuck on doing all these other things. No, obviously that's where so, she is. And um, that's why they're the ones that are guarding. Okay. Now then. Philippa. Couple things to talk with you about. Oh, is, is Cynthia gone now? I did totally miss the opportunity to attempt to talk to her. Oh, there she is. So then. Just out of curiosity, how much does a magic course cost these days? I'm certain you can't afford it, Witcher. Besides, you're too old. It's not really your decision, no is it? I have a few of my own tricks as it is. <laughs> you mean Witcher's son? Oh, great. Now we get a bunch of scorn from mm. an apprentice. Philippa can conjure up the illusion of a garden full of flowers. Fruit trees and young elves of both sexes copulating merrily all the day. And the illusion is complete. The flowers have an aroma. The fruit and she-elves are juicy. Good for Philippa. Invite me over the next time she conjures up this garden. I'd gladly see it. Professional curiosity. Naturally. But I doubt Philippa's in the mood for complicated illusions. She focuses all her efforts on Saskia. Yeah? How do you feel about that? Who are you? I'm Cynthia, a mage in training. Philippa is my mentor. My condolences. <laughs> no need for that. True, she's a demanding mistress, but she can also be charming. Besides, she's the best there is, Witcher. She has no equals. Excepting, perhaps, the old elven sorceresses. You should see her cast spells. Light and graceful she is. All right. Not like that old tart de Tanzaville. Well... You know Sheila? I've seen her cast spells. I've seen all the great sorceresses at work. What about Yennefer? Sheila's quite manly in her style. Really? Precise, logical, exceptionally composed. But she lacks grace and suppleness. Is that your opinion? Or are you just repeating uh -huh. what Philippa says? We agree in our assessment. Mm. Yeah. Trish Marigold, on the other hand, is talented. But she lacks determination, courage, 
and a certain cold willfulness that seems necessary. That's interesting. Kira Metz and Margarita Lo Antiel are both blasé, seemingly resigned. One's a hedonist and nymphomaniac, the other cares only about her school. They lost enthusiasm for magic long ago. Who are you to judge? Francesca Finderbear. Nobody really knows what the old she-elf is capable of. But she's clearly very powerful. I take it Philippa has none of these flaws, but she must have some weakness. Ambition. Infinite, boundless, and burning like the Koroth Desert. She's not such a great mentor, I would say, if she hasn't taught you better than to just completely gossip about all of the sorceresses to some whatever random witcher you meet. You got a lot to learn, kiddo. Alrighty. She's got a lot of pride, but not too much sense just yet. Alright, let's talk, you. You wanted to discuss something? Couple things. So... Yeah, what's Sheila doing over there? She's part of your little special sorceress clique. Your friend Sheila is conniving with Henselt. I know this, Witcher, but it's no cause for concern. Sheila is there to ensure Henselt doesn't fall prey to the same people who killed Foltest. We don't want him as sovereign of the Pontar Valley, but we also don't need Kedwin to descend into civil and war. And you have a handy sorceress right there watching him, so... Yeah, you want to keep him on his throne. Alrighty. I found one of the ingredients for Saskia's cure. Show me. Interesting. Getting warmer, but still not there. It's as if I'd sent you to get me the sun and you'd brought me a candle. We need something massive, an item of real power, Geralt. This is a dwarf's dream. Stolen and magically encased in this crystal, it would do if it was stolen. Wait, an actual dream, you, you know mean? What this means? In addition to normal harpies, there are Solano in the area. Solano? Dream snatchers. Oh. The only harpy species to develop something resembling intelligence. They magically bind dreams to mountain crystals. I heard they once inhabited this area. Solano live among regular harpies, but their lair should be full of stolen dreams. One of those would be powerful enough, I'm sure. Alrighty. You'd have to enter the harpy lair through the quarry. Unfortunately, the gate to the caves is locked and Cecil Burden won't open it. He'll let me in. I asked him on another occasion. Stubborn as a mule, that one. But we must not relent. Saskia clings to life by a thread. Let me show you the desire contained in this particular dream. Don't be hasty to judge. Hmm. Yes, I can feel it. Whose dream is it? Cecil Burden's. In that case, I need to see the Alderman. Got a feeling he just might open the gate for me. Wait, what? We're gonna try to blackmail him or something? Also, hang on, hang on. You wanted to discuss something. I do. Because we do need to make sure that Triss isn't dying or anything, you know? I've got Triss's bandana. Have you learned anything? Triss was here. Letho forced her to teleport. It went badly? Why would he? There are easier ways to travel. All well, he wanted to teleport. Two of Letho's comrades, probably those responsible for Demoven's death, were hiding among the Scoyatel. When it became evident in Flotsam that the Kingslayer wanted to dispose of Yorvith, the Scoyatel leader gave the order to eliminate them. Letho had to reach the unit before the elven messengers did. He could only do that by teleporting. I assumed that Triss wanted to teleport to me, but she missed the mark and they ended up in the gullies. What happened next? Well, there is an adventure with a troll. Letho left her in a gully, wounded. He probably thought that she'd diversify the local troll's diet. He himself went to see the elves and massacred the unit with his comrades. They're somewhere on the other side of the fog. What about Triss? She escaped from the troll. Everything suggests she's somewhere in the area. I can assure you she is not in Verdun. Well, track her down with the she handkerchief. Where is she? Here. Locate her. I'll try, but it will take some time. Have you learned anything else? Uh, yeah, I did learn. Sheila ordered Letho and Triss killed. I can't believe that. Believe it. I ran into some mercenaries she enlisted to kill Letho and anyone found with him. She must have meant the other Kingslayers. Are you sure she knew Triss was with him? Are you so sure of Sheila? There was something going on between her and Triss. I sensed a lot of tension. True. A misunderstanding. Mm. Maybe. Let's find Triss and clear everything up. I need some time. This is dicey, Geralt, because, um... What's going on out there? Let's see. Yeah, let's see. But Philippa may well be on Sheila's side of that misunderstanding. What's so. going on? The peasants want to take Pitchfox to King Demoven's son. 
What we do need is blood. The Dragon Slayer's servant is spreading rumors that Stennis poisoned Sassy. He seems likely. The commoners are in an uproar. They want to dispense justice. Where's the prince? Barricaded himself in his room, guarded by nobles. For the moment, the peasants are still respectful, but they are feverish. A fight is inevitable. Well, did he poison Help her? Help us out. The situation is dire. I'm going to inform the other nobles. What's your thoughts on this, Philippa? I don't like people like Stennis. But it's true that it was only a matter of time. I mean, she's she's their great hero, Saskia is. Somebody poisoned her. It's got to be someone in the inner circle, because how else is the poison going to get there at the cup at the big meeting? So, yeah, I can see the peasants getting restless. We want some kind of justice. Dogs growl at cats. Cats hiss at the dogs. A noble's a wolf to a peasant. Forget those animalistic similes and take care of it. I'll try to locate Triss. And should anything happen to Prince Stennis, remember... We need his blood. Oh, I won't forget. I remember. <laughs> Stop the peasants from lynching the prince. Very well. Although I do need to go get this. Harpy's Nest of Dreams, too. Where's he gonna be? He's gonna be up by the castle, right? That'll need to go. Yeah, because he, he's barricaded himself in his room. So yeah, that's where he is. Oh shoot, where do I go? Here and then... No. Maybe. No. Eva. Eh? That's a witch, not a human. See, she's dead. You're stupid. She just fell unconscious. The white wolf will say... I will! I, I have... Shut your trap if you don't know what's going on. If she's dead, if she's dead this whole time, I'm going to be so upset. The commoners claim it's our prince's doing. Is it? Such judgment is above their station. Well, somebody's got to figure it out. Hansel's provocation. He wants to drive a wedge between us. So you're going to sit here and accomplish nothing about it. Good job, guys. All right, everyone. Sarah's and Lodge will never be on the same side. Wraith Humans only care how their asses rise as All right, guys, let's talk about it. Geralt! So. It's good to see you. Always good to see you guys, too. The commoners claim Stannis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to Just make sure we get some blood if they do. Um. Yeah. Nobody to keep things peaceful. Scale and Borden and his dwarves are trying to contain the mob, but they're badly outnumbered. The plebs will yell a lot, beat someone up, and go home. As peasants... Who are they going to beat up, though? That would be foolish. They're not serfs anymore. The days of them humbly sowing and reaping are gone. Looks like things are getting nasty. All right, let's go check it out. Hear me! What do you want? I'm Skill and Burden. I keep order and Vulgan. Are doing a nice job, then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flames! Settle down. We're gonna do this Stop. the orderly way. Hey, hey. Squirrels! Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons. I don't care if you're a serf or a lord. I'll kill you all if need be. <laughs> What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olkan poisoned Saskia. We want justice! You want revenge. It's not the same thing. We don't care! Saskia has fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them! Look, settle you down. Lie, We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. True. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his no, ass? No, if he poisoned her, he's going down. We'll spank him, alright, with an axe to the We throat. have to properly try Where's him first. Servant? Safe. The square tail keep an eye on him. Why well, is the prince hiding in his house if he's Because you're out here threatening to lynch Enough. him. I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. Now back off. We need to act quickly. We do. So what's going on then? <laughs> huh? No. Uh, so what's your plan? 
What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little. Bleed them if need be. Don't kill anybody. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. What do you want me to do? Question the peasants and the nobles. Okay. And talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goats. Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. Yeah. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Mmm, so we gotta be picky. Bloody bastard poison the virgin. Change your tone when we put a sick. Can we have a word? Why not? I'm Ogden, a founder. I can't. I probably should not have used some of my time to talk to this guy. You need any, Witcher? No thanks. The tableware in the council chamber is your handiwork? It is. Made it back in mere Farragut's time. Since then, each and every goblet has hit the floor dozens of times, and what happened? Nothing. Because they're steel. My goblets are indestructible, impervious to both the fury of sovereigns and servants who are all thumbs. Saskia's chalice was new. Aye, it was. Back in Mayor Farragut's day, Avenger Saskia was no more than an itch in her dad's britches. Okay, so... Was the order for a normal goblet? Not a chance. It was supposed to be a gift. I ornamented it richly, even on the inside. Not terribly practical, that, as it's hard to get clean. Some scum is bound to remain. But I wanted it looking downright regal, worthy of our Saskia. Was it still like the, the others? The chalices were not ornamented on the inside? Of course not. Okay. Who ordered the goblet from you? That goblet was a gift. A way for the folk of Vergen to pay tribute to Saskia. I got the honor of casting and presenting it to our lovely leader. The last liked it so much, she's not used any other vessel since she received it. All right. Any chance there could have been two identical goblets? Why, there's no craftsman that comes close to me in Vergen. Could someone have tried to copy your handiwork? Ha! I know of one who's been trying for years, but he's a fumbler, a screw-up. He's not produced one decent vessel. They all look like the work of a drunken elf. Thorax, his name. Okay, interesting, but I don't know if that's actually a lead we want to follow See you up. See at the end. We'll grab a beer. This is good to see someone's taking the prince care of it. With the virgin's death. Okay, what other things? Sultan, what do you think about it all? Things look Say, bad. Witcher, come over here. furious. They finally have a chance to strike back for all the wrongs. The noblemen won't yield. They're a cowardly lot. They know their heads will follow Stennis. Yeah. It's a deadlock. With the prince's guilt still to be proven. Yarpin says it's someone from Edom. Sheldon, on the other hand, would shave his beard if it's not Hensel's spies. Mm. All right. Has Yarpin got any evidence? No, Yarpin's an old cook and says he's got a feeling. Plowing soothsayer. He might be right with those feelings. After all, not just anyone can pass through the Wraith's Mist. It has to be someone local. <laughs> so it never crossed your mind that Hensel might have sent someone here before those ghosts appeared. Could be. <laughs> Why would Henselt do it? I mean, that seems kind of obvious, but... Why would Sheldon suspect Henselt? He'd sooner reach an agreement with Stennis than Saskia. Her death would be very convenient. Mm-hmm. Zoltan? I'm wondering how anyone could manage to poison the wine. Saskia's a quick-witted lass. She doesn't let just anyone near. Someone she knew must have done Yep. It. Anyone reached the prince in his chamber? Not even close. The nobles guard him like a matron does her wards, Heine. If the rabble slaughters the prince, there'll be no stopping them. They'll start doing things their own. I know, it's going to go bad. That's why the nobles will support the prince, even if they believe he's guilty. I'm sure Stennis's hands are dirtier than a peasant girl's fucked in a barn. <laughs> All right. Give us this whore power! Rolling dung, you surly dog! All right, I want to talk to him, so let me in. Put a sickle to your throat. Save your threats for your hogs. I want to speak with the prince. You're unique then. Everyone else wants to tear him limb from limb. We won't let you. You're in. gonna let me in. Only I can help your prince. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Are you mad? Silence. I'm in command here, and I grant the Witcher leave to enter. Please, master. Are you here to kill me, Monster Slayer? Not yet, but... I'm here for your help. You can save Saskia. Do you hear them? They want my head. Yep. They equate the words of some village idiot with mine. 
I am the heir to the Edernian throne, the rightful ruler of this land, descendant of Demavend and Verfer. Dude, nobody cares. And if you help me heal Saskia, the people will forget. No, if he's the poisoner, we need to kill him, though. If? So if I don't help you, they'll kill well, me? probably. This is blackmail. This is a deal. What do you want? First off, did you do this? Did you poison her? Of course not. Even if I had, do you think I would boast about it? Don't be a fool. I'm trying to help. Not only Saskia, but you, your highness. I won't yield to that rabble. Never. One smear is all they needed to lay siege to my doorstep. Do you really think I should plead my innocence every time some village idiot says the prince did it? Yeah. Or maybe go out there and beg them for mercy? Never. You merely need to convince them that you're innocent. Prove it wasn't you and they'll walk away. And if I am innocent, yet lack proof thereof? You claim you wish to help me. Do so. Convince the people to believe me. You'll not regret it. You're not going to bribe me to do it. Bribe me. I want only to make a contract. Think uh -huh, about no. it. I need blood. If you didn't do it, then I'm willing to help you. But if you did it, and I, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like maybe he did it, and he thinks he can just order me about because he's the heir and I'm a little peasant, and he'll reward me and because peasantry are bought so easily. That's the feeling I'm getting from this guy. I don't know. Look, I need your blood. That's all I really care about. I need royal blood for a potion that will heal Saskia. Do you mock me? You owe Saskia your life. She carried you away from the wraith's Yeah, we could have left you. It was her duty. Nope. As it would have been of any Adernian. Okay, yes, Besides, obviously, but now nah, realm is falling apart, and she is responsible. No. Saskia and her rebels routed their royal forces at Galette and on the banks of the Diffney. For practical purposes, the Adernian army no longer exists. Cry, baby, get Those over it. Those rebels are the last hope you have of stopping Henselt. And what then? A pig herd will be crowned and appoint a shoeshine his secretary of this state. This guy sucks. Don't think that far ahead. Your Highness, just a few drops of your blood will cure Saskia. Vergen can defend itself only if she's in command. You can't do it. I've already said I owe this girl nothing. I'll not yield to blackmail even if it costs me my life. I'll go to the axe my head held And high, then we'll get your blood anyhow, I'll doofus. Not surrender even a drop of royal blood to save a peasant You poisoned girl. her, didn't you? Gods! He did it. What is he it, has sire? so much contempt Show for her. The Witcher out. Fine. Is everything in order, sire? We had a chat, but we are through. And you made up my you mind, buddy. I told you, girl. Yeah, I have thought on I it. I will. Give us this I thought on it, and you're a dick. Go get the lads. We won't stand for this. Oh, ah, my hand. I'll cut the block off the next man who dares try his luck. All right. Who else would we want to talk to? Say, Witcher, power. come over here. All right, let's do. What you got? What do you want? We of noble birth always had to protect the pledge from their own. This is okay. You're taking the wrong tactic with me, world. buddy. I don't have time <laughs> to listen to songs praising the nobility. Know anything about the attempt on Saskia's life? No, I don't. But whatever the truth, the mob cannot lynch one of royal. No, blood. we can. So truth means nothing to you. That's what makes us different. Uh huh. I didn't say I don't care about truth. Just keep in mind, there's a world order that mustn't be destroyed. An order that allows injustice. If the prince turns out to be involved in this attempted murder, he should face a tribunal. The rabble doesn't understand the principles ruling the world. You like those principles because they, they keep you... And simply don't like yeah. Them. Saskia is a wise woman, but there's one thing she doesn't take into consideration. This war will be over one so? day. So? Who will sow the crops and milk the cows then? Saskia called the serfs to arms. Do you think they'll want to plow fields again? Some will. You may be right, but it's certainly not my business who'll plow your fields. Farewell. Yeah, you just wasted my time, you jerk. When we put a sickle to your throat. Save your threats for your hog-smelling woman. Anyone so much as twitches. All right, I really don't want to talk to any more of the nobles because I hate them. Who else can we talk to? Scaling? Hurry up, witch! Uh, I'm working on it. All right, what about you guys? Can we have a word? Mud does in the Yeah, air. I know it. Oh wait, you were this. See you at the end. We'll grab. Dang it! I didn't pay close attention. I already talked to you. Never be on the same side. Humans only care how. Can we have a word? 
Mobs no, the... not him. I want the. Is he the only one of these dwarves that I can See talk with? with? Playing into All right. What else do we have? Who's over here? Each if not for that we damned Yorvit, the serfs like would probably be hanging the prince by now. Can't mix water he cannot with be fire. trusted. If he found proof of Stennis's guilt, he'd point his bow the other way. But if it wasn't for him, we could not defend the prince. Ugh, whatever. Okay, so do I have to stay here? Can I like go talk to people in town? You associate with sorceresses. I'm not really clear on my limitations here. Claim it's our prince's doing. It's Such good to see someone's taking thing. care of it. Why is he lingering about? Like the stench in a dwarven hovel. Those witches be craving gold. This one's sure to say the prince is innocent, then sting Stennis for a pouch. He better search for a lad who served the virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, once done with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets, throwing their weight about too much they are. Okay, so... The prince stood right next to Saskia during the council. Did he have access to the wine cellar beforehand? How should I know? Why flap your mouth then? Yeah. The prince is a wealthy lord. Bribing a skivvy to poison the wine is nothing to him. Just because someone can afford gold teeth doesn't mean they'll pull their healthy ones. What's it really all about? Who's backing you? We want justice. We don't need no one backing us. We knows what to do. How would you punish the prince? If a lad counts hens wrong, he'll be flogged. What should we then do with a man poisoning others? Kill him. A land without a ruler is a nightmare. We have a ruler, the Virgin of Eden. Yeah. It's not certain she'll live. Well, we don't then want to we'll poison her if, it, manage, if she dies. But he must be one of us lads. That way, he'll understand us. And all people is gonna be equal. Our way. And the non-humans? We have enough dung on the field. Oh. Let non-humans find a non-human land. Nope. Wrong. Get away with them. Or how about we all just go away right now and see how you handle Henselt's armies yourself? You know Saskia's servant? Willy of the Oblates. He handled the wine, indeed, but loves the virgin like a sister and mother put together. He'd gladly get quartered for her. Where's this Willy of yours? Hiding in his shack, afraid of them lords. Squirrels guard him. All right, fine. We're going to see if I can find him. Farewell. Give oh, no, we're not. Enough of this charade. Try to be reasonable, folks. Sit down and talk in peace. We've talked enough. Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his own. No, you don't get to do that. Bergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I Silgrat, get out of here. Of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. <laughs> Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia? Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Because she's leading a revolt in what Bear he considers his lands. How eminent is his lineage? Nobody cares about That's his lineage, you idiot. The Mongol covets the crown. Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretending to be with her, he was, sly fox. Taking the simple peasants in. And I think he was. But us lads ain't so dumb as you lords think. See for yourselves how the commoners hate the yeah. prince. Spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose And of they him. poisoned Saskia, Saskia to make it. Are you kidding me? Said that Where is this oh, servant? Oh, the servant? Might okay. Ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a No, fraud. he's probably afraid. He's hiding to save his skin from you, yeah. poor sons. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison inside the chalice would be enough. I never heard of anyone poisoning a chalice. You haven't heard of a lot of you things, you idiot. Heard much then. One of the emperor's forebears died after sampling some lamb. He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece was poisoned. The witch is right. Give us Stennis. Saskia's got her own chalice. It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? Hmm. So, I'm not convinced means I'm not convinced that 
Stannis is innocent. I kind of don't care if he's innocent. The people don't want him to lead them. I don't care about his divine birthright or whatever else. The people don't want him. Not just these people, but all the people. That's why he hasn't been crowned. Nobody wants him to be king. The only reason he's here, working with Saskia at all, is because he thinks it's his only hope of trying to get people to try and accept him on his... Like, they don't like him. And nobody likes you either, buddy standing next to me. So, what, Selkurt's brother, whatever your name was, Selgren. They've had enough of you nobles, who think that just because you happen to be born into the nobility, you're better than anybody else. So, eh... I, I'm not. I just as long as I get some of his blood, I feel like Stennis. Even I don't know. I feel like he's going to be a threat to Saskia anyhow. So it's not clear how. Although if someone else poison poisoned her, we do need but that to doesn't track mean that he didn't down. Do it. Stennis is blowing hot and cold. Everyone knows that. You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, Yokel. Tell us who else would do it. A peasant wanted to hurt the miss. Never. It's cause of her, you noble dogs can't ignore That's us. That's a good point. A pig won't cut its own throat. A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his savior. Perhaps it is no peasant's deed. However, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. Answer me this. Was not Stannis's room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lightsrid and cellar? Can he not enter the virgin's kitchen at will? Yes. His serene damned the prince can curses on his kin. Nobody in Vergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they wanted, nobody but Stennis could do it. And he did not at all try to convince me of his innocence when I talked to him. That could just be because that he's just so incredibly arrogant that he felt that he didn't that he was above having to prove himself to a witcher, but I don't know, he sealed his the only thing stopping me from wanting to just be like, whatever, you guys can have him, kill him. Well, two things. One is that even if we do decide that he's guilty, they can't just lynch him. We have to maintain order. So, okay, we've decided that he's guilty. He can be judged. He can be killed in an orderly, legal fashion, you know? But other than that, if he didn't actually poison her, then we need to really know who did. I mean, ugh. Do we go back and forth a bit? It does make sense, but... Those are just words. Too much guesswork and not enough evidence. You can't convict anyone based on that. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit oh, for this one guy's with royal blood running in his you, veins. You always say the wrong what thing. What do you want to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty. And you raise your hands He's going to get himself killed. In this world, there are crimes that can be forgiven. And crimes that, by any means, cannot... And poisoning's one of just them. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat, cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot oh, be Oh, he's got to go down. He who raises hand against I kind of want to just right stab him right now. Walk Poke, this world. get the blood, and what we're done. What about he who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive. So no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she, the Virgin of Eden, can judge me. Cardi! And if Saskia won't get well, who's gonna judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. Those are words worthy of a true you, oh sovereign. Oh my gosh, I hate these guys so much. <laughs> I am the one you should look to for guidance. Let my the, oh, this scumbag. He's using this as his opportunity. <gasps> he poisoned... Oh my... He did it. So you've forgotten how you tried to yep. bribe me when I was at your house? How about that? Snout he did this? it, and he's trying to make things look this so good now there are no to try and get them you. to decide... Oh. A lynching... This, uh, he came here to Vergen in the first place to try and get some kind of fame so that people would pay attention to him. And this is his attempt to do it. To poison her, but not quite kill her, so that he can play some kind of hero here. Oh, she can judge me or whatever. No. No, I'm not giving... Oh, lynching is a bad idea, but I'm not giving... Sask is standing for something different. The, everything he just said there... To raise your hand against one anointed by gods. No, Saskia is standing for... Her whole point is everybody being equal. 
You don't get to stand above anybody. You didn't say a word about your guilt or innocence. You demand justice. You want to summon a coven of the world. Who you are sure will vote in your but favor. Who will sit on that mm -hmm. coven? Any peasants? No, only people you'll nominate yourself. Lords whom you'll reward with lands for reaching the right decision. Yep. Such men are to decide if you're guilty? No, you are guilty, Prince. You know you are. I would rather that he not be lynched, but... Get some of that blood! Geralt, Geralt, we need the blood! It sets a dangerous precedent. It does. We don't want just anybody to be attacked. But at the same time... Yep, there we go. I don't feel the least bit bad about it. He has such utter contempt for his people. The nobles won't forgive them that. They're a cowardly lot. Yelping's all they're good at. And backstabbing. By Stennis's example. His filthy life wasn't taken in vain. Eilhart will get royal blood, and Saskia will be cured. And we, we don't have to, to listen to him spew obnoxious garbage alone. at us anymore. Anything's possible using strength. One just has to know how to use it. That's your credo? Saskia's the best leader I know, but she can't hope to defeat Hensel with this rabble. What do you intend to do? I'll get reinforcements. The Scoyatal are more numerous than you think. Time to summon them. I'll leave short. They're just waiting for you your won't call, get huh? The fog. I don't intend to. Mountains may stop human armies, but not the Scoyatal. I'm going south. Will you be back in time? I have to. Va fail, Gwynblade. Don't lose hope. Alright. I'll keep working on things on my end. And feel not the least bit bad about this. This guy. Yeah, and I'm gonna take your sword too. Oh. I mean, like your old said, all the things he's saying, he never, he's not talking about, he's not, he never really saying anything about being innocent or whatever else. It's no, he's just trying to find a workaround where he can get a council of the wise or whatever he called it, people that he's gonna bribe, they're gonna vote for him, and he thinks it's all gonna, this is what's gonna. He's such a scumbag. Hi, guys. How are you feeling right about now? Alright, well. That was certainly exciting. I think I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back and next time we are going to go ahead and I think we're going to get this blood to Philippa. And then we're going to have to see about this harpy's nest. To find the the dream that's big enough and dazzling enough. Oh, so we gotta, yeah, we gotta talk to Cecil about that. But I still wanna go ahead and talk to Phil. I wanna get Philippa's take on everything that happened here with Stennis. Yeah, I can't, I don't feel bad about how that went down. And I feel like that was a pretty Geralt thing, too. He has no appreciation for arrogant, nasty, bribing, backstabbing lords. Yeah.